I can tell you for free, though I was not in London yesterday evening, I can tell you it was rather peaceful over there. I can also tell you that the God of Banter delivered Arsenal and Chelsea fans into the hands of rival fans, and that's why we had a peaceful evening in London. Yes, uh, in this episode of the program, we talk about the defeats of Arsenal and Chelsea, and also we preview the most interesting matchups uh, coming your way this weekend for you. This is the Not Meg on Guardian TV. My name is Ayomide Shotubo. Okay, so welcome to the episode. Uh, yes, let me start by telling you very quickly, sharp. Arsenal are not ready to be champions. Mm, you heard me right. Arsenal are not ready to be champions. And why did I say that? Uh, let's begin from where their losing run started. Yes, that was against City. I remember saying to my folks over here uh, before that game that it has more consequence than just an FA Cup game. But then people were saying, oh, it's just an FA Cup game. It's just an FA Cup game. An FA Cup game that Man City won, dumped Arsenal out of uh, uh, the FA Cup, another chance to win a trophy. And also, it was more about the psychological ramifications. I mean, I can imagine myself being an Arsenal player on that night and even yesterday, I can imagine myself being an Arsenal player, seeing the likes of Erling Haaland, Kevin De Bruyne, and think, hmm, these are the best team. This is the best team in uh, uh, the league in the last five years. They've won four titles, and that makes a lot of difference. I said it, that if Arsenal failed to win that game, they would struggle to win the other games that will play against City. And that was what happened yesterday. This Gabriel Martinelli has been off form in the last couple of games. And there's a Leandro Trossard who is out there uh, sitting around somewhere around Emirates and wanting to make instant impact. But then it seems that uh, Ateta is putting his trust in Gabriel Martinelli. But it's not giving you the results, so why not just change it? Eddie Nkete, another player that flattered to deceive. He scored in the last six games. Mind you, he's been fantastic in those six games. But in these recent uh, times, uh, Eddie Nketiah is not providing the goods. He's not, he's not delivering the goods for Arsenal. But then let's move away uh, from the Arsenal City game and talk about uh, the Champions League. It returned uh, this week and Chelsea were in action also yesterday. Uh, but then they did not take three points. In fact, they have not taken three points uh, in their last eight They've won just once in their last nine games. And uh, you begin to wonder what is wrong at Stamford Bridge. 300 million, over 300 million. In fact, uh, the, the uh, accurate figure is 323 million pounds that's been spent for Graham Porter, bringing in uh, top talent like Enzo Fernandez, Jao Felix. And it's not changing anything. But then I think I want to also criticize uh, uh, Graham Porter because... I'm beginning to wonder, I know Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has his critics. I know that he he's not done himself, uh, he's not covered himself in glory uh, recently. But we are talking about one of the best goal scorers in the last decade. And Chelsea, one interesting start is Chelsea, they played 21 shots. They had eight on target, but they failed to score. Karim Adeyemi making a joke, uh, saying, uh, yes, he was fast enough to beat Enzo Fernandez because he had Fufu. In case you don't know, Fufu is a Nigerian delicacy, one of my favorites as well. Anyways, uh, away from the humor in that, uh, Karim Adeyemi, brilliant solo goal, and of course, uh, one that you will remember for a while. But then uh, we're going to now preview games uh, coming up uh, this weekend. Arsenal, Aston Villa is one. Arsenal, uh, they still have a game in hand. They are level on points with City, but City currently lead with goal difference. And they are playing a Haston Villa side who are beating uh, Man United already this season. They beat Man United, they beat Tottenham Hotspur. They failed to win against uh, Man City last time out. Man City defeated a 3 1. But then Gunnar Emery is the coach, and you don't rule out an 11th placed Aston Villa from uh, changing something. Uh, in uh, probably they could have more salt. To the wound of Arsenal. I wouldn't say no because who was in the dugout for them? A certain Unai Emery, who was a former Arsenal boss and would want to get one over his former side. Uh, in August uh, last year, uh, the first leg, Arsenal won 2 1, it ended, but then Unai Emery would want to uh, make a statement in this game. Uh, Aston Villa, they've got nothing to lose. If they lose, not too detrimental. If they win, big statement win for them. Another game to look forward to this weekend is Newcastle welcoming Liverpool to the Saints. James Park, Newcastle are in the conversation for the top four battle. Liverpool, 
convincing victory against Everton on Monday night. Can they do it again against Newcastle, one of the top four contenders? If Liverpool win, it definitely is a statement of intent for them to return back to the top four. I mean, there are still lots of games to play uh, to decide that. But then, mind you, Newcastle are yet to lose in their last 17 games. Mm. Newcastle are yet to lose in their last 17. And in fact, uh, they have played three consecutive draws and they need this victory. They need to convince themselves that they are still in the conversation. Of course, uh, they, they had draws against Crystal Palace, against West Ham United, against Bournemouth. And now they want to win against uh, Liverpool, who have struggled in the entire part of the season up until this point uh, they've struggled but then uh, it's up to liverpool to prove uh, their uh, their their top four credentials and let's see if liverpool can do that our last pick of the matchup for this weekend is manchester united welcoming uh, leicester city to old trafford and uh, quite interesting uh, my united have not lost 10 home games on the bounce so, yeah they've not lost in their last 10 home games um, and by the way they've won three of their last five home games against Leicester City and uh, Man United also uh, concede just 0.7 goals uh, per home game in an average yeah and that is uh, quite difficult uh, for Leicester City although are not also in bad form I mean they put four past the likes of Tottenham and Aston Villa in their last home game Yes, and of course, the absence of Casemiro is uh, quite pivotal. The last game of his suspension, a three-game ban, by the way, uh, Man United will have to cope without him. And Casemiro is a wonderful player. Man United will be missing him. Leicester City have put four past Tottenham and Aston Villa in their last two games. This should make an entertaining game. I tell you, it should be an entertaining game because Man United have uh, got an almost flawless uh, home record this season. They've won 10 on the bounce at home and they do better at home than anywhere else uh, in, uh, in, in the world currently. So, but then Leicester City, I mean, are no pushovers. Leicester City are scoring goals. Man United are lacking the presence of Casemiro. But then, my United have not lost in 10 home games. It'll be interesting games of goals and entertainment to tell you. And I look forward to uh, the review of games uh, when we bring to you the next episode. But for this episode, this is where we bring it to a close. You can hit the subscribe button uh, to join the Nutmeg community while you also turn on your notification bells to receive our latest videos. Uh, this is the Nutmeg on Guardian TV. My name is Ayomide Shotubo.